Hi, this is Leo from the PC Security Channel. Now we all know about the menace of ransomware, but you might say, hey, I've got a good endpoint security product that is going to protect me. Well, here is a ransomware that actually bypasses all of your security mechanisms by using, ironically, safe mode for Windows. And unfortunately, a lot of security products will simply not run in safe mode. But guess what? The ransomware will. So if we wait for a few moments, as you can see, it is encrypting our data right now as we speak. And shortly after, we have a ransom note on the desktop which says, your files are encrypted using AES-256. We highly suggest not shutting down your computer in case encryption process is not finished. Oh yeah, <laughs> they wouldn't want you to do that because that might actually save some of your files as your files may get corrupted. I mean, that's technically true, but it's still kind of better than getting encrypted. You'd rather have some files corrupted than all your files encrypted properly. <laughs> The rest is pretty standard, so you've got an Onion domain that they want you to visit to pay the ransom, and of course they expect you to use the Tor browser to do that, and then they have a unique identifier. This ransomware is going to hit corporations, and it's part of a growing trend where hackers try to effectively disable whatever protections you have before running the ransomware. And this is also something I definitely want the vendors to take note of, because most malicious operations can be performed in the safe mode with networking environment. Now we're going to do a quick analysis of this threat, and we're going to search for it on Intezer, our sponsors for this video. And our search returns a couple of samples that were seen in July of 2021. So I'm actually going to upload the sample that we have because it may be newer, and we're going to see the analysis report. So I'm just gonna go back to the home page, upload our file, and wait for the analysis to complete. And as you can see, it is identified as a VOS locker. Now, interestingly, it seems to have avoided dynamic execution, so I guess it has some sandbox-resistant capabilities. But the static analysis is quite clear. We have a 62% match with the AVOS locker family. And if we take a look at FARS total, we have 52 out of 69 detections. But again, it all counts for nothing if the antivirus solution is disabled because the encryption is happening in safe mode. This is a good example of how an actual malware is delivered on a system. Usually these days it'll involve a high level of packing. But now if we take a look at some of the strings, as you can see the obfuscation is pretty strong. So other than maybe encryption failed, we can't really see a lot of clear strings here. You can't read any of this. But the nice thing about Intesur is because they're basically looking at the code fragments they still identify these strings. Bleeping Computer also recently made a post about this and it seems like this ransomware is behind some recent attacks. And what's more concerning is that it seems this is not an approach that is independent or unique to a VOS locker. Other ransomware groups are picking up this vulnerability. And if we go down below, as you can see, our evil and black matter, other families that we have covered in previous TPSC videos are also using safe mode to bypass endpoint security. Some of them will also create a brand new user. So if you're an IT administrator and you've seen new users pop up without explanation, that's a massive red flag. So watch out for that. And I really want to drive this point home because this is one of those areas where it may be hard to recognize that an attack is happening before it's too late because it may start with something as simple as a totally fileless command to reboot the system. They don't even need to have the ransomware sample on the system before the reboot. All they would have to embed is a command that reboots the system with networking and then it could download the malware sample from a command and control server. So a simple command, one URL, and your computer is toast. No malware necessary. So again, for those of you who think, well, if I don't execute the ransomware sample, it's not gonna get on my system, right? Unfortunately, that's not the case. And I guess it could even bypass the controlled folder mechanisms. So yeah, <laughs> this is pretty bad. You might also wanna watch my recent video on digital forensics that goes over how you can look for modifications made by a hacker. I think it's very timely given something like this. And a big thank you to our sponsor, Synthesur. So if you would like to go more in depth with threats like these and do your own analysis, Synthesur is a great platform to check out. You've got a really good view of TDPs and IOCs. And where possible, you even get machine screenshots and a full analysis of behavior. 
you can generate your rules to protect your systems directly. You can also use it to do an endpoint scan. So there's a lot to check out and you can get started by going to analyze.intezer.com and setting up an account with the free community edition. By the way, if you would like us to do an audit of your business and find out if you're susceptible to modern ransomware attacks, we do offer our testing services and they're very flexible. So consider checking us out at tpsc.tech and we're also going to be doing a 20% discount this new year. So we've never done anything like this before. So if you're a business and you've been on the edge considering working with us, this is your time to jump in. For everyone else, we have a lot of educational videos planned, a lot of events on our Discord. So stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, stay informed, stay secure.